see how I got this look using the Mecca Max All Eyes On You eyeshadow palette. Keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Did say I was going to jump back into this palette and jump back in? I did. I have done a full swatch and review sort of situation and I've also demoed this palette previously. I'll link that up here. So we're going to jump straight into this look and then we'll come back and chat. Okay, so I've primed my eyes, I've done my brows, and I've primed my eyes with my usual MAC paint pot. And I'm going in with my Sigma E35 blending brush, and we're going to pick up the shade Dessert, and we're using that as our transition shade. So just below my brow and above my crease. So we're just gonna, I just pat the color down with the brush because it's so big, and then I blend. Just to try and keep that pigmentation, but also the, um, just to help me control the product better and sometimes if you just put it down and blend straight away you get one area that's got a lot of colour and the other hasn't. So I'm just adding more, patting, blending, and blending that, kicked up a little bit of a dust storm but I did go in a little bit heavy handed as well. Next I'm going in with my Wayne Goss number 19 brush, this is really nice for hooded eyes, it's a nice small blending brush and I'm picking up this shade brunette and we're going to use it in my crease where my natural crease is and also just above where that fold is too so we're going to go in with this brush first and blend 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 so we're just concentrating on the outside and bringing it in and we're just going to keep building up the color until we're satisfied with that Okay, now I'm going to switch brushes to the Sigma E40 and we're picking up the same shade and we're just placing a tiny bit above my natural crease because it's a little bit of a bigger brush. So I use the Wayne Goss one to be precise in my crease and then the Sigma one just a little bit above just to help blend those two colours together. Then we're going into our favourite MAC 217 and we're picking up the shade Guestless. We're going to put that in the outer corner, outer V and blend inwards. So place down and blend in. So you see I'm patting the colour on the outer V just to have a bit more control then using circular motions I'm just going to blend and bring it in into my crease, blend, bring it in. Okay so I've just picked up a bit more shadow as well and I'm just building it up so just placing it on the outer V and then I'm blending it inwards. So just adding dimension to the whole look. So just blend, blend, blend. Guys, lots of blending. And I'm winging it out as well. So now I'm going to place some shadow on the outer part of my lid using the MAC 242 going into the shade Sunrise. And we're just going to pat 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 just the outer third of my lid and I want a bit more of a foiled finish as well so I'm going to spray the shadow after I've picked it up with my brush and then I'm just patting that you can see it's giving me a bit more of a foiled finish and then I'm flipping the brush and we're going to pick up citron the nice yellow gold and we're placing that on the inner part of our lid bringing it in and then you're going to overlap on that shadow that you placed down before so i'm just bringing it in and i'm using the edge of that brush to also make a shape and we're blending on top of sunrise as well so you have a nice seamless blend and then i'm going to spray that as well after i've picked up the shadow just to give myself a bit more of a forward intense finish <music> And then I'm picking up my 217 again, going back into the shade Guest List that we use on our outer V and we're going to tap back in and we're just going to place that on the outer V and blend it in again just to tidy up the edges of those the golds that we laid down. So just blending, tidying up.
Then I'm picking up my Wayne Goss number eight. And guess what guys, we're tight lining. So I'm using the shade Brunette and we're just gonna tight line our upper lash line. Then I'm taking my Zoeva 223 brush and we're going to do our lower lash line. We're using the shades Brunette and Guest List. So Brunette we're putting all over and then Guest List we're just gonna put in the outer corner and join that with the rest of the shadow. So we create some cohesion. So just blending that together. Then I'm using my Sigma E40 just to blend the two. Nothing's on that brush, just plain. Then we're going in with sh Shimmer and Fever Pit and Sunrise and we're putting that on our inner corner as well, just any pencil brush. Then I'm using my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner and doing my wing liner. And then going in with my Hourglass Caution Mascara and doing my lashes. And that's the finished look. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It's just more of a simple New Year's Eve kind of glam. Not everybody wants to do a cut crease with chuck glitter on, but you know, sparkly shade. I def I did want to use 100% when I opened this palette. I wanted to use Envy, which I have in my previous look, and Citron was another. This bright gold was another a look that I 100% wanted to use, so I did that. And um, pretty simple. Didn't require any concealer, no cut creasing, nothing like that. Just nice glam and. Then then I did my um, wing liner as well. I didn't put lashes on this time. I just used my Hourglass Caution Mascara. I'm really loving that. But if you want to put lashes, by all means, go for gold. I'll link all the products I used to finish my face, the foundation, lippy, I'm wearing highlighter, all that kind of stuff, in the description box below. Yeah, I really enjoyed this palette. Again, it's only 40 bucks, so it is pretty much a bargain here. Um, I will say, though, with the shimmer shades, you probably would have seen a little bit, there was quite a bit of fallout as well. And I did spray them just to get that foiled shadow finish. But yeah, I really am liking this palette. There's still heaps of looks you can do with it. And it's pretty versatile. It's a nice size. Let's not blind you guys. It's a nice size mirror that it comes with. And it's gorgeous packaging. Pretty easy, I think, to transport and would be great for travel. Yeah, guys, that's the look. You know, New Year's, whether you're going out, whether you're going to dinner, spending time with your family, or just having a nice quiet night in, but you want to do a bit of glam, I think this would be perfect. You guys are probably watching this just before Christmas, so I also wanted to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, and I hope you stay safe and enjoy this holiday season, enjoy time with your family and friends, and eat and be merry. It's a time of reflection and being grateful as well for what we have, and I hope we all remember that it's not just about the gifts we give or receive, but just spending time with people that we love and just cherishing that time. So I wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and thank you so much for supporting this channel. And I can't wait to see you back here again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. On your way out, please consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell so you don't miss any videos. And I can't wait to see you back here again. Click here to catch my last video. Click here to also subscribe and click here for more from Lee's Beauty Closet. Until next time, guys.